Hello everybody, this is Bell King and happy Easter to everybody who celebrates Easter. And if you watch this video late, happy belated Easter. Anyways, I'm using Smoke Poison and Nas playing Assassinate. I do get 20k in this game. Um, I am using the robber and I'm ready to kill people. Um, this guy does not know I'm there. I don't know how he doesn't, don't know why, I even lock him. Um, I don't know what he's doing. Hello, I'm over here. Yo, buddy. And um, watch what happens right here. You know, I'm able to, you know, who would have thought? I'm able to get my poison, hidden silent focus poison, then I chain another hidden silent kill. Um, very fortunate, very happy. 2,000 points in the first 30 seconds or so in the game. And I'm not bad. At that pace, I would have gotten a 24k, but I don't. Here's the Hessian, and he's going to be AFK, or away from controller, for the majority of the game. And here's the Huntsman giving me the slow walk of death. And I believe I'm going to pop inside this blend group and get a hidden silent focus. I, I am addicted to hidden kills. I love them. They give you a lot of points. Get this aerial kill, Bell King. There we go. Um, tips for scoring high. Uh, number one, you need to stun people. Number two, you need to stun people. In this game, you got to get the points by stunning people. Whether that be smoke bombs or knife stuns. You must stun, you must stun people and get the focus kills. I think everybody with a decent amount of experience can figure that out and if you don't now you do here's the other thing on scoring high immediately I'm facing this little box because I'm gonna climb it and get my acro plus my silent focus and so I try to use any and everything in my environment to better my bonus and like I've said before Assassin's Creed is about being a assassin getting those quality kills and um, that's what I'm all about, whether it's a, a game like this where I'm going for a high score or just uh, whether it's a, uh, a game against really good players. You always want quality kills. The, this game rewards you for getting those quality bonuses. But I know he's away, um, away from the controller right here, and that's fine. You know, just going to hop in a balloon group and get the, get the hidden silent incognito. So I'm happy. Um, she just, she, I mean, not she, he just surprised. I really wasn't expecting him to be right there. Um, hop in this balloon group and get another hidden silent focus poison, which to me is even better than the grab kills. I don't like a grab kill alone is like 450 points, which is very good. But those hidden silent focus poisons are deadly. Um, I just killed him and now here he is again. And so... I'm gonna kill him again. Get an incognito. Gonna kill her. Is that a focus? Yeah, incognito focus. So um, I really don't know what she was doing. Maybe she could have killed me if she won the lock. But then again, I really don't know if she was just running through the map um, aimlessly. Who knows? Um, I should get this aerial on him, and I do. Um, you know, generally speaking, if you want to get a 20k assassinate or a 19k or a 24k assassinate, you need to, you know, execute and you need some things just to go your way, you know, because anything can happen in assassinate, you know, you smoke bomb somebody and, you know, the dodge animation and you don't get your stun like, and, and for scoring high, you know, yes, you have to make good decisions, but sometimes you just need certain things to go your way and right there I almost threw my smoke bomb for some reason maybe I accidentally pressed the wrong button but I almost messed that up there somebody's around me my compass is highlighted I think it's him I'm correct um, I don't know how that civilian got killed I don't know who killed that civilian that was kinda weird but so far so good I'm on a really nice pace uh, here's the Hessian and this is what I was saying before. Something's got to go your way. Um, I'm not going to complain that this guy was away from his controller. Just take advantage of it. But on the flip side, because he is away from his controller, all the, all the times that I killed him don't count for his stats. That's the good thing. So it's a win-win for the both of us. I get to 
kill him for a lot of points and his stats won't count all those deaths because the game won't count them if you don't touch your controller anyways I think we have about five minutes five or six minutes left I can't see it I don't have my glasses on so right here I did not mean to climb that box I was going for a corner stun but I was surprisingly able to get it off um, I made a mistake and I still got the stun so there we go things went my way I mean some of it is skill and some of the, some of it is luck and I would rather be lucky than skilled any day of the week because in a lot of situations luck supersedes skill and I'm trying to get this ass clown to lock me and he won't fucking lock there we go buddy lock me lock me there we go let me get my focus kills cooperate with me let me get my focus kills help bell king out help the cost help the 20k cost somebody's around me um i could have sworn somebody locked me around here somewhere you know the thing is in this lobby they lock you and they keep their lock and I hate when people lock you and keep your lock. And he was up there. So, did I think this is the first time that I died. I'm assuming. I don't remember dying before that. Yeah, that was the first time I died. So, not bad. Went on a super long kill streak. Um, so, yeah. Um, as far as uh, this game is concerned, more tips on scoring high. Um, understand that once you get your focus silent kill or whatever you want to basically after you use your smoke bomb and you use your knives and you have no abilities left you want to get as many kills as possible while your smoke down while your smoke down while your smoke bomb is on cooldown so after you smoke bomb somebody and you, you get that high quality kill off you want to maximize that cooldown time. Don't look at the cooldown as, oh, I don't have a smoke bomb. Look at it as, oh, let me get as many kills as possible while my knives and smoke are on cooldown. So when I do get them back, you know, I've already gotten like 500 points while my smoke down, while my smoke down, while my smoke bomb was on cooldown. And so when you do get your smoke bomb back, it's just adding to the points that you've already gotten. I don't know if, if, I, tic if I articulated that properly, but whatever. Hopefully you got the message. Um, um, it's a little... I'm trying to see who my target is. Uh, I don't necessarily want to be exposed by everybody in the lobby because I don't have enough smoke bombs for everybody. I don't like it when the new players are all bunched up in one part of the map. And if you get locked by multiple players of this caliber, they will all chase you around the map and you can't stun everybody. So, <sighs> see this guy, I'm like, oh shit, you know, I, I can get a really high score and you're going to lock me and run away and waste precious time. I've got a, a minute left. Quit fucking around. Come over here so I can stun you. I don't know how you lock somebody and then run away. But thankfully, this guy saves the day. He locks me. He's going to throw his little uh, money bomb at me, which is essentially gold coins. So thank you for throwing your coins at me. Thank you for locking me, for helping out the cause. And somebody is over here. It's her, obviously. I want her to lock me. I don't think she's going to lock me. Get the silent kill. So right now, so far, so good. Um, I can get a really, really good score in this game. I mean, I have a good score in this game, but I'm thinking there's a lot of time left. I can really get a good score. She finally does lock me, and I'm able to get this knife stun off. Get this silent focus right before the gaming session ends. And I do like this costume for the robber. I would suggest you guys go buy it because I like it. Anyways, the game is winding down. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. And this is why you do not kill civilians. I messed it up. I could have had a maybe 23k in this game, 22. And this is why I didn't get it. 
I killed a civilian, so obviously I'm an idiot. Not as good as I thought I was. So, um, moral of the story, don't kill civilians. This is Bell King. Thanks for watching. Unfortunately, the game is about to end, and it doesn't really show what place I'm in or my score or anything of that nature. Um, so it's basically going to like freeze right here, and it's not going to show my score or anything. And you're going to see me after the game is over scroll to check out uh, my score in this game. Um, unfortunately, uh, obviously, if you go over 20k, it's going to say you have exceeded the parameters. I don't know why you would put like a score limit in a game. That's kind of weak. But I knew this ahead of time, which is why I didn't care. Uh, I had it recorded anyway, so um, I think they definitely need to change that with Assassin's Creed 4. Don't put a score limit on the game. But this is Bell King, you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Be safe. Happy Easter.